All right, folks. So you guys are here to see that automatic cutoff that is sold in the stores, uh, Amazon, eBay. I installed it on this Chrysler 300. Okay, I'm gonna show you how it works and what it's good for, and I guess what it's not good for. All right, I'm gonna include the, uh, the other video in the comments, okay? So you can see it from the very beginning when I did a test run on it inside the house. Now it's in the car. I picked this one as a guinea pig just to see how it works, all right? So it comes in a little box, a little kit. Comes with the relay, comes with this adapter ring here, comes with the screws, comes with that battery connector, comes with the two wires. Black one goes to ground, which is to here, okay? One of these terminals, doesn't matter, and then the red one is the positive that goes over there to operate the relay. All right, so it's a simple, pretty much uh, simple setup, okay? With this one here, of course, you don't have to, this is just temporary because for this to be modified, this cover is not going to go over it because it's going to exactly hit this piece here and that's going to be a problem. So we're going to have to modify this and come down with a, maybe a separate cable. Mounted totally different. All right, but this is a negative cable. Goes to one side of the relay. The other side of the relay goes to the terminal on the battery. And then that's the battery terminal. All right, like I said, the little black or white that grounds the relay goes right here to ground anyway and the positive goes over here. So I wanna show you the good things and the bad things about this and how it works. All right, so let me take you inside. The remote basically is on and off, okay? Does, it has nothing to do with the, the car starting, it's basically the battery. Do you want the battery on, you hit on. If you want the battery off, you hit off. That's it, so you gotta think about it that way. All right, let's take you inside. Take you inside the car is running look at the rpms all right let's put the ac on over here on low i got the radio on and then i got the headlights on all right so that's what i got it is running look at the lights over here they're nice and bright so the battery is on right now and you could use it just like a regular car all right let's shut it off Start it right up. All right, drive it, run it, just like a normal car. All right, it'll ding. Everything is uh, on. It'll remember most of the the stuff that you have. All right, because remember, you didn't shut it off yet. So let's go shut it off. And I'm gonna use this little remote and we're gonna shut the battery off. So you notice? The key buzzer is now quiet. There is no dome light. Everything is blacked out. Okay, so it's dead. That means the factory alarm will not work. If you left the headlights on, like I did here, the lights will not be lit on the outside. It's totally dead, just like a dead battery, like if those somebody just snipped the battery cables off. And that's where we are. Okay, and we'll go to start it. You're gonna have absolutely nothing. Okay, so just remember that. Just like having a bed, uh, a dead battery, and you know what happens when you have a dead battery. Usually, the the radio has to be reset, and God knows what else you have to be reset when when a battery dies. So that's the bad thing about when you shut it off. Okay, they can't steal it by driving it because it's totally dead. You have the little remote. All right, let's shut this off so I don't zap anybody. Now, let's turn the battery on. There you go. Lights are starting to come on. Dome lights are on. The radio starts to make all kinds of funny noises because it's like as though you just connected the battery. All right, let's shut the lights off over here. All right, and now the car is gonna start. All right, let's start it up. Watch the RPM page. All right, so besides those other lights that this car has, this car has a little bit of a problem here. 
But uh, there you go. It runs, it drives, everything's good. Now watch what happens if you accidentally shut this battery off. Okay? Let's just pretend you're driving. Radio's on. All right? Let's turn the radio on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember, you have to reset everything. So that's that's the problem here. Every time you hit that battery, it's going to reset it. All right. So it goes into an, the regular phase there. Let's turn on the headlights. All right. Got the little AC on. Everything's driving. Everything's running fine. If you just happen to accidentally hit this and shut the battery off, what happens is that now it's running on the alternator. Your light's going to start to flicker. Okay? Because it's running on alternator power now. There's no battery to supply anything. Okay? So, would it dry for a little bit? Sure it will. But then the battery's going to die eventually. Okay? Put it in gear. Let's see here. All right. Like I said, everything's going to flicker. There's a charging system. If you look closely on that one here, same thing. Flickering. It's flickering like if though you have a uh, dead battery or a bad alternator. All right. So that's the only problem with that. Let's turn it back on. See what happens. So now we turn the battery back on. Let's put it in park. Flickering is gone. We're back to full power. All right, so that's the only problem with this is that you, if you accidentally hit this while it's driving, you're going to be running on alternator power. And if you have the wipers on and you got the AC on, you got the headlights on, stop that a light. Who knows? It might die on you because you're supposed to have a, a battery along with an alternator to keep the car running because cars run on computers. All right. It's not like an old car that has no digital radio and all this fancy stuff. That car might run for a while. But like I said, if you have this uh, remote in the off position, you're not going to charge back the battery so basically the battery is just sitting there all right that's it so i'm going to attach the link to the item that i bought and i'm going to use this because this car sits and because it sits it kills the battery because it keeps the clock running the radio keeps its memory so since this car is not used yet until i fix it up all together i am going to use this remote just to disconnect the battery all right, that's what I'm going to do. All right, so in a way it works good. In a way, it has its, it has its problems, okay? But for a cutoff switch, it might be pretty good. All right, so you know what? Let's shut the battery off. Let's go shut the car off. And you notice everything's dead. Okay, there it is. That's where I'm going to leave it. Good night. Thanks for watching.